Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of the Fall Creators Update. Pretty much what we're going to have in, uh, you know, a few weeks, October 17th. And this is, uh, hey, the first build, look at that, on the bottom right. First build with no watermark, that's kind of cool. And uh, no, don't really take it for cash because Donna Sakar wanted to be really, really, really uh, straightforward with this. This is not the Fall Creators update, but it's probably quite close. Tons of bug fixes in this one. Um, so, you know, that's probably the major thing to think about here. So, um, okay, new build. And um, I took a few measures. I took a few, um, you know, like how big it was when it actually downloaded and so on. So, first thing first. Uh, of course, we had a lot of problems with this build. The um, update didn't go right for a lot of people. I'd say the majority because I um, was looking yesterday when the build was released and looking today. And um, what I could see when I look at the amount of people that I can read comments about what went wrong or not, this was a major issue. It was not just like, you know, 20% of people. It's like the majority of insiders, except a few privilege, had an issue. And of course, they released a fix. They said, hey, it's fixed. It was not. A lot of people still had problems. They found out there was a second problem. And finally, at uh, for me, three about 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, which is like, um, you know, one, uh, what is it? Uh, 1.30, 2.30. I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it was like really um, something. It was like 12 noon, noon, around, you know, 1230 um, Pacific. They uh, basically seem to have found what was the fix needed for this. So um, that's pretty interesting. And the glitch that they had is a kind of an unusual glitch because it was not anyone's fault and the insiders themselves we all had our you know systems waiting for a new build it really seems like the insider team had a lot of problem in assigning the builds to everybody and it's kind of scary because you're thinking, well, we're a couple, you know, we're like a few weeks away from the release of Windows 10. And it's like, there's this big, huge bug of delivery. And you're thinking, okay, uh, what made this bug? I'd like to have um, kind of a better outlook as to what this bug was about exactly. Because uh, it's kind of interesting when you think about it, that's for sure. Now, uh, the install went well after the bug was released, you know, it's like, okay. Um, how big was this is very interesting. A very small update, one gigabyte. I measured one gigabyte download for this update to roll through. And this is kind of interesting. It shows us that new pattern of updates that will be the norm after the Fall Creators update for everybody. So that means us insiders were testing this, but when the next March update rolls through, it's not going to be four gigabytes for everybody. It's going to be like a smaller thing. They're going to change the core of Windows only that they need to change, not everything. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, install time, well, the initialization and everything maybe took about three hours for me. It was a little longer than the last time. Uh, but it, it, it rolled in well. And um, last build, I found it to be a little sluggish. This build seems to be much, much more interesting and kind of faster than uh, the last few builds that we had. So I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. So uh, I think we got a, a good build here. Um, I've been using it, you know what, because I could have done my review of this, you know, about four hours ago. But one of the things that I want to do every time I get a new build 
is just to compare and see if everything is all right, if it doesn't crash. So I've been using it intensively in the past few hours to make sure it doesn't crash, doesn't blue screen or anything. It seems to be a pretty solid build personally. So it's kind of very, very, very interesting. So what are the few things that we notice? Of course, there's no new features in here, but we notice that there's no watermark on the bottom right. So it kind of tells us that, well, is this the creator's update? And if we type the Windows version command and check it out, as you see here in the Windows version command, it says that this is 1709, September 2017 update. Uh, it doesn't have a moment or a time that it expires, which lets me to think if you'd kind of, you know, remove yourself from the insider builds right now, you'd be okay probably. So what does that mean? Because Donna Sakar says, nope, this is not a real thing yet. Well, that means they are almost there. We are so close. We are a week or two away from what it is exactly. Yet, there's still going to be some fixes because there's probably... Um, the reason they say there's, it's not there yet, they know that there's bugs left in here. So that's what you got to know. Um, so today, I want, you know, every time that we do a new insider build that has no new features, I take a look at a new, of course, some new fault creators update highlight, um, feature highlight. But you know what? I want to talk today about something that's kind of interesting because I've been hearing here and there a lot of information about that. And then today we had um, Windows Weekly on the Twitter network. Paul Tarot and Mayor Joe Foley was talking about it, but especially Paul Tarot was kind of very clear about something. And it actually helped me clear out what I think about what's coming up. So, okay. When there was build, they had a moment where they talked about, of course, a fall creators update. And one of the features they talked about was story remix in remix 3d and the fall creators update saying that the photos app was to get this but then it was kind of removed and we were thinking oh that's not going to be in fall creators update now today it's a little clearer okay first of all a lot of people have been telling me oh i want to have the story remix in photos well the photo app okay is photo app Okay, and that's it. It's the photo app. Story Remix. And today, Paul Tarot helped me make it even clearer. And what I thought was right. Story Remix is a app. It's separate from the Photos app. It's something totally, totally different. It will be its own thing. So, that's the first thing we know. Then... Will it be with Fall Creators Update? Well, it seems that it will be. And the reason why is because they've announced that on October 17th, when Fall Creators Update starts rolling out, the Story Remix will be a Windows Store app that you will be able to download also on October 17th. And that's what's happening. Now, why isn't that in Windows 10 and that's it? It's anybody's guess, okay? Because that's the way things work sometimes with Microsoft. But it seems it's going to be there pretty much with Fall Creators Update. But we'll have to be in Fall Creators Update to see it. Now, if you guys are in the skip ahead, you guys can see it already. But with Fall Creators Update, once we move to that, we will be able to apparently get it. So anyways, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, anyways, uh, so we're at 16288 right now. A great build, works fine. No crashes, no problems. And you know what? It's um, something that is pretty cool. And so um, nothing else to add except the fact that, you know, 
all the things I just said. Hope you enjoy my videos. This was the quick look of the latest uh, version of our Fall Careers Update coming really soon. I mean, we're just barely a month away from the Fall Careers Update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give